What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I bring you guys some more gameplay from the brand new Onslaught DLC for Call of Duty Ghosts. So, I was lucky enough to go out and play it early and record it early at Infinity Ward. This map pack actually doesn't come out until tomorrow morning, but in the meantime, I'm bringing you guys a bunch of videos today kind of going through all the different maps, weapons, and extinction modes to, uh, to give you guys a quick little sneak peek and, and teaser to, uh, to what's coming out. Uh, tomorrow. So anyway, in this video, this is the last map we're going to cover for the multiplayer maps. We've already done three other ones, so make sure you guys check those out if you haven't seen them yet. But this is Bayview, and as you can see, I'm running right along one of the main attractions of this map, which was the trolley back there. But um, anyway, talking about Bayview, I actually really, really like this map. I'd probably say it's my third favorite map, and not because it's bad, but just because Ignition and Fog are so good. But Bayview is still a very, very solid map that I think you guys will enjoy as well. It's just got a really good mix of all kinds of different you know gameplays and and, and engagement and all types of different gameplays and and engagements and things like that so uh, anyway it's a medium-sized map and it's really fun and fast in fact it, it kind of reminds me of boardwalk from modern warfare 3 you know mainly visually it, it just kind of reminds you of that we're watching the uh, the field order right here we'll talk about it in a second but, uh, but it reminds me of it visually but then also just kind of like the gameplay it was always fast always in your face uh, if you want it to be so, so it's kind of good in that regard. Now, uh, as I mentioned, one of the main, you know, kind of attractions of this site is the trolley. So there's a giant trolley that goes around the outskirts of the map. It doesn't make a full circle. It's more of like a U or a horseshoe shape, and it just kind of keeps going back and forth. And, and the trolley is actually very useful. So we saw the trolley in the trailer, and I was like, oh, come on now. That thing's going to be bad. Like, you're going to be in a death trap if you get in that thing. But honestly, it's pretty good because you can't shoot through the sides of the trolley. So if somebody's in there you have to make sure that you're hitting your their you know kind of upper half of their body their upper chest and head which can be difficult to do sometimes and then if they duck down it's really hard to get them you have to use nades or you know c4s or explosives or things like that so the trolley actually isn't too bad it's definitely not a good spot most people are always looking at that thing but it's not too bad if you want to mix it up and, and take enemies by uh, surprise at times you know we were actually talking to the devs of the game when we were there yesterday and, and we told them that they should put the bdom flag in trolley could you guys imagine that the bdom flag constantly moving on this map that'd be pretty cool but uh yeah there's the trolley and then for the rest of the map there's a lot of different you know pieces of cover and different lines of sight and things you can use like it's really really crazy there's quite a bit of vertical gameplay like there's some second and third story buildings and then also it's kind of nice because like I said it caters to a lot of different play styles and a lot of different gameplay so you know on the outsides where the trolley mainly goes there's a lot of long lines of sight and, you know places where snipers can you know hole up and post up and things like that but then when you're going through the middle which we were just in in this gameplay right here it's really crazy like there's some areas that have like eight different entrances and a bunch of different windows looking at them and it's just really fast-paced run and gun you know shotgun type territory so uh, it's kind of cool you know, like I said it's got a good mix it's a great map for TDM because it's got so many different uh, engagements and things you can get into we played a couple of, uh, of objective modes as well like we played domination and that was pretty good as well and overall, I just I think this is going to be a pretty solid map. Like a lot of times, DLC maps aren't really the greatest, but I think this is a very good one. I think it's definitely a very solid one, and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, this is Bayview. It's pretty. Oh yeah, by the way, before I forget, the field orders. So when you call in a field order and you get the specific like map special field order, then then it's kind of like a mortar strike, but it's done by the naval ships that are off in the distance, as you can see right here on screen. So uh, it's pretty cool. You know, it's kind of like the, the um, what is it called? Mortar strike from Warhawk and things like that. Like it's not the most powerful thing in the world. It might get you one or two kills. But it's kind of a cool thing to see these ships off in the distance shooting mortar rounds in. So, anyway, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think about Bayview. I'm sure I'll have more gameplay from this map when the map pack actually drops tomorrow. In the meantime, make sure you guys check out all the other videos I've put up today. I put up a lot, so make sure you didn't miss any. And then also check out one of the other two videos you've seen yet. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out.